happy new year to all and welcome back recently i read about cold shower supposedly has many health benefits both physical and mental including immunity for some of us and in some parts of the world it could be an unpleasant experience however many will love to have cold shower i was curious to know the research evidence behind this as usual i started looking for systematic reviews and i couldn't find any systematic reviews are a great way to start looking for evidence because it offers summary of existing research findings as i couldn't find any systematic review i started looking at individual research studies let me share what i found a research study of 3000 people from netherlands found that people who took a cold shower were around 30 percentage less likely than those who took a warm shower to take time off work due to sickness irrespective of the duration of cold shower the participants were split into four groups followed the protocol for a month one group was asked to end the shower with 30 seconds of cold water another with 60 seconds of cold water another with 90 seconds of cold water the control group could merely enjoy a warm shower so what could be the reason for this finding it is not clear yet but some research suggests it may have something to do with boosting the immune system an earlier study showed that when athletic young men were immersed in cold water three times a week for 6 weeks it gave a slight boost to their immune system however more and large studies are needed to confirm these findings let us examine the physiology behind this there is also some evidence that a cold shower can help you to lose weight a study found that cold water immersion at 14 degrees celsius increased metabolism by 350% Metabolism is the process by which your body converts what you eat and drink into energy. So, a higher metabolism roughly equals more energy burned. Cold water shower considered as a physiological stress also appears to activate the sympathetic nervous system that is our fight or flight response which increases the hormone noradrenaline. This is what most likely causes the increase in heart rate and blood pressure observed when people are immersed in cold water and is linked to the suggested health improvements. Cold water immersion has also shown to improve circulation. When exposed to cold water there is decreased blood flow to the skin. When the exposure to cold water stops the body has to warm itself up so there is an increase in blood flow to the surface of the skin. Some scientists think that this could improve circulation. A research study that looked at cold water immersion after exercise found that after four weeks, blood flow to and from muscles had improved. Aside from the physical benefits, there are some research suggests cold showers could have mental health benefits too, to help reduce anxiety, depression, etc. A cold shower is expected to send an overwhelming amount of electrical impulses from peripheral nerve endings to the brain it increases happy hormones such as noradrenaline dopamine and endorphins as a practice cold shower may be helpful for people with dry skin as hot shower makes the skin itchy dry and irritable cold showers definitely gives a refreshing feel cold water helps constrict blood vessels in the skin to temporarily tighten pores and decrease redness and puffiness moreover cold temperature boosts circulation and that might mean a healthy glow for your face good to know there are some risk to a cold shower because a sudden gush of cold water shocks the body it can be dangerous for people with heart disease and could precipitate a heart attack or heart rhythm irregularities to sum up There is some amount of evidence that cold water immersion or having a cold shower is good for our health even if the reasons are still not clear 
most areas very little research has been done. If you want to try cold shower, do it gently and gradually with regard to temperature, duration, etc. Starting from 30 seconds, temperature 50 to 60 degree Fahrenheit or 10 to 15 degree Celsius and see how you respond and tolerate this. Try to aim for 2 to 5 minutes to see some benefits and preferably do it in the morning.